Hey, what's up everyone? How are you? Welcome to our new video about how to use Give Me Data and connect it with other social media growth tools in order to get better results and increase your growth and your revenue. Uh, yes, so first of all, thank you very much for joining me. Um, I'm happy to see you over here. Um, yes, so just to let you know, using Give Me Data, you can do a lot of cool stuff in social media. And in order to make this kind of process and journey easier and even more fun for you, uh, I created a full guide about how you can use the data we provide with three main tools, I think, which actually can benefit each one of you as a marketer, as a business owner, as a human, <laughs> and more. So I will try not to make it too long and not to cover things that are already covered, uh, but could be, it would be a bit long, so sorry if it's already like 20 minutes or something. Um, I, I will try to do my best. And yes, yeah, so let's, let's speak a bit about um, the tools, the main ones I think would be super beneficial for you. So um, if you don't know, so what Give Me Data can actually provide you, it's public information from Instagram. Which type of public information? Usernames, users ID, phone numbers, emails, biotechs, biolink, followers about, following amount, basically any kind of public information including verified accounts which actually hide their followers we managed to find a way to crack it down uh, don't tell <laughs> the people shouldn't know about it uh, and you can actually use the platform to grow your accounts to do some cold outreach and to actually increase your revenue and do some cool stuff so let's start with the first one i would actually recommend to do with sharing tools so if you haven't seen i will uh, attach the links to the full videos about sharing tools and this type of, uh, of grow tools because it's a bit long. It can take a bit of um, like a while to explain about what it's sharing tools and how to work with it. So, sorry, you can have a look over here. I actually made a full guide about sharing tools, um, which you can actually see and you can understand much more about uh, what is sharing tools, how you can work with it, what is the right settings, and so on. It's like 40 minutes, but if you want to grow your account, it's worth to try that and to learn from the from the website, eh, from the video, sorry. And basically this tool allowed you to grow your Instagram account just like I'm doing over here. Let me show you that, what is the result and the end goal. So you can grow your account with 30 followers a day, you can grow it even with 33, even some days 20, even some days 79, some days you don't even grow it, depends how, how much testing you're doing, 40 some days and so on. Um, and what you can actually do on sharing tools, you can use Give Me Data in order to avoid using scrapers. So just to explain what is scrapers, scrapers, it's basically blank accounts, which you don't actually care about. You can buy them for like 20 cents or something. And the scrapers account, what they actually doing, they're scraping the information you need in order that your main account can actually grow. So let's say I want to target all of the people who are following Mark Zuckerberg. This is my target audience. If I would try to get this information using my account to go to Mark Zuckerberg account and to get the followers list, first of all, it's verified, so it would be very hard. And secondly, it's I'm actually putting a big risk on my account because Instagram, of course, doesn't want you to scrape any data from their platform, right? They want you to pay from, for everything. This is the business model, makes sense. So this is why we are using scrapers in order to avoid um, risking the main account. But the problem with the scrapers is that you need to purchase them and you need to add them to the platform. And because they are scrapers, they can burn many, many times. And you can you need to re-add scrapers and repurchase them and so on. It's like kind of like not a headache. I won't say it's a big headache, but yeah, you need to, to, to take care for that. So let's say if I don't want to take care for the scrapers, I want to make it much more simple. What I can do, I can actually go to give me data and I can already scrape the account that I actually want to scrape and insert their IDs. If you don't know what is user ID, it's basically each Instagram username, he has an ID, it's like a combination of numbers as a username, like my username is Adrian Conina, but I also have an ID. Um, so this is pretty much, uh, what we can do and this is like how we can interact and grow the account with the target audience that we want uh, but without any hassle of the scrapers now uh, just a small um, disclaimer is that even if you are using scrapers you're still putting your main account in risk when you're using automation there is no risk-free 
in this business. Okay, if you want risk free, so you can do paid ads and give all of your money to Facebook and Meta, <laughs> that's also an option. But here you always you will always have the risk. Uh, this is why there's like safety recommendation to connect your main account into Facebook uh, Business Manager and Facebook Business Page. And this is why you should watch all of this video to make sure you understand how everything is working and not getting into trouble. Um, yes, and pretty much like that, let me show you an example. So let's say I want to get Mark Zuckerberg a follower. So I can click on extract, super simple. As you can see, it can take a few seconds. Uh, just to do that, it's a verified account. So it actually costs more to scrape it just because it's also more expenses and more work from our side. Let's say I want only um, 200, okay? Or you know what, 500. It will cost me 5,000 coins. I click on extract. It won't really give me 5,000 exactly, a 500, sorry, a username, um, but it should bring me like close number to that. It will take a few seconds and that what, then what's going to happen it will actually send me um, an email over here. So I will see that um, when it's ready. Oh, it's already ready. So let me just refresh. I want to show you that. No, yeah, great news. Your data is not ready. I got this. I click here and of course I'm already, I already logged in so I can just click over here and download the data. It's showing me the name of the file, Zach. Cool. Cool, and here you can see basically the usernames and the user ID. It's actually managed to give me 473, which is nice. And here I have all of the ID. What I can actually do, I can copy all of this type of ID, and then I can go to sharing tools, and I can just click on a user ID under the targeting tab of iPerVoter here on the left, and I can click on insert ID. I can copy and paste all of them, just like that. Um, I can just delete this. And I click on insert. Now it's inserting all of them super fast. And I'm going to, I will click on save before I forget. And then I'm just going to interact with them. Now I know I show it pretty fast and this is uh, okay. This is just because I wanted to see this video. And also if you find it useful, so you can see more videos, which I'm doing testing with and the custom uh, in this specific audience. This is like week number two, week one, week number one the testing and this is week number two so you can also check these two videos i will also attach the links no worries it's very short one this is like 14 minutes 13 minutes just to show you how it's the progress so this is basically one thing you can do um i think it's pretty useful and worth a uh, testing that using sharing tools and um give me data of course you can also use it with other next post models if you have any other next post tool so feel free or if you're doing this kind of stuff manually, I know some people like to do it manually. So you can also just take the list and do it manually, follow and follow, or with your VA, that's also uh, an option. Um, and yes, of course, I also attached like the photos over here if you want to see how it looks like. Now, the second uh, thing you can do is to use a tool called SuSocial. Now, I don't know if you're familiar with Jarvi, but if not, so Jarvi uh, was like a big player on the growth hacking niche for the last, uh, let's say, I don't know, 20, uh, no, not 20, <laughs> eight years, nine years, something like that. Uh, but Jarvi officially website is closed and the official alternative called sharing tools. Uh, sorry, not sharing tools, uh, SuSocial. Uh, we are also using a lot of uh, sharing tools to grow the accounts, but you can definitely use also SuSocial, but it's a different tool. Why it's a different tool? Because SuSocial is actually much more working um, on the, the another type of api and it's also much more on follow and follow method it also will require from you to get a vps because it's working only on windows system and you need the computer to to run 24 7 or to have a vps and uh, not like sharing tools which is like a web a uh, platform but again also for a so social we actually me and tal uh, we made a full video it's only three months old so it's pretty up to date three months ago how to use it for uh, Instagram. It's full guide. You can also see we answer some questions over here. I see we need to answer a few more. Uh, so um, yes, it's already 2000 people watch it. So I think it's worth checking that. And here we're explaining about the full guide of Soul Social. But let me show you how you can use it specifically with the same methodology of what I show you on sharing tools to avoid using the scrapers and to avoid using the hassle of the scrapers. 
cool. So have a look basically what you need to do. Um, first, you need again to, to watch the full guide about social. It's 40 minutes because it's a bit long, uh, but we actually get getting into the, the most important details about what is important, how to set it up, what is important to know and so on. So feel free to check this full video. It's really, really important. And then basically it's the same methodology where you can actually add your Instagram account. And then instead of to put scrapers and to use all of the hassle of the scrapers, what you can definitely do is to go to the follow tool, to the follow sources. And here basically you have follow specific users. Now here you can put, if you want, uh, you can follow users by user's ID instead of usernames where possible. If you want, or you can just put the usernames where you have the usernames, pretty easy. You have here the username, okay? And then I can just copy and paste that. Wait, okay, then I click on add usernames. This is not an account I actually created, but just to show you, and this is all of the accounts are, this is the accounts I'm going to interact with, and I'm going to follow all of them. Follow them, I can like them, I can comment on their posts, I can DM them, I can do a lot of stuff, depends on my goals. But basically this is what's going to help you to avoid, again, using scrapers and buying scrapers and all of this process, which it's it's time consuming, it also costs you money, and it's also uh, energy. So this is basically what you can do in order to make it much more fun, uh, just to go to the follow, use the follow sources and add the accounts. Now, again, I know I don't, I didn't explain all of the process. It took me, <laughs> it would take me this video of three hours, everything. So I don't want to make it like that. Just check this video where I made with Tal. It's 40 minutes. We explain about everything with social, um, with the proxies, how to do that, which, what do you need to click about the scrapers? We are also showing information about the scrapers. This is actually the part of the scraping. So if you're using give me data, you actually don't have to do all of that. Again, you will have the risks, it's not risks free, but the most dangerous uh, things you can do is to scrape from the main account. I'm saying dangerous because you can still do that. It doesn't mean like you will get disabled, but you put your account on, on a, in a risk. So this is why we are using the scrapers or we're using a give me data, which as you can see, it took me one minute maybe and I scraped 500 users. It's working very, 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 very fast. Actually, the fastest, the fastest scraping tool in the world. So this is about um, a, the option of social. And again, you can use it, uh, like I show you, like on showing tools to grow the account, to DM followers, to do comments, to do likes, to do um, like to do cold outreach if you want, like to follow and DM people, or you can just grow the account, depends on what you want. Um, now, another thing I want to show you, and this is a cool tool, it's called uh, Phantom Booster. So Phantom Booster, it's pretty well-known French company. Um, pretty big. Uh, they have a lot of traffic and they have a lot of cool phantoms. What is a phantom? Phantom is actually an automation um, process you can do. They have uh, solutions for all of the social media platforms, even AI integration. By the way, so social also have uh, an API and chat GPT and AI, uh, API integration if you want to check it. And I want to show you about the Instagram, what you can do with Instagram. So let's say I can do a lot of stuff. Um, and as you can see, it's also web-based tools. So it's nice. I don't need to install software and all of these parts, which is cool. And let's say I want to do auto comment. Let's say I want to do auto following, okay? I want to uh, follow specific people. So I can actually use the follower, but not the follower collector. Sorry, I don't want to collect it. I want to Instagram followers. Wait. Yeah, out of follow or unfollow list of accounts on Instagram. I can also use these guys, of course, but then I put my account on list because I need to scrape the followers I want to engage with, right? So if I'm going to click on this one, Instagram out of follow, I click on use this phantom. Uh, wait, why? Actually, I think I bought the package. Mm. Um, but to be honest with you, I don't use this tool that much. I'm using more of the sharing tools and also sometimes the social when I need. I think showing tools, it's like the biggest one that we are using. So this is why I didn't buy the packet. I didn't bought the package for this one, but I did bought for many years when I needed that. Um, so yes, Instagram how to follow. I click on this phantom. And this is, by the way, free version for 30 minutes a day. You get it for free. If you want extra, you need to pay. I will also cover the, the details of the payment and how it's working. Um, I need to install Chrome extension. So I think 
I have, but I disabled it. Don't know why. So now I enable that. Okay, cool. And let me show you that. Let's pin this tweet. Okay. And let's make sure it's actually working. Um, cool. Okay. Cool. So, yeah, I already installed. Yep. Okay, I click on the Phantom, but I need to set up the Phantom. So I need to connect my account to connect it to Instagram. Let me do this one sec. Cool. So I connected it, and this is the Instagram session cookie. Okay, I click on Save. And here I need the profile URLs, okay, which profiles I want to follow. So what you can do, I already created for you in the blog section um, a template you can actually use. You can click on File, make a copy. You just click on that and then you will have a copy and you can just put the username so uh what you need to do it's just to paste over here a uh, the account you want okay a uh, the account you script a uh, sorry the username and then it will do it with the url because we are providing the username as you can see like here and um, but we don't provide it with the full url but that's okay with this uh, template you can just do that so i click on this and as you can see, it's adding the URL of everyone. Now what I can just do in order to make it. Yeah, so I can just continue. And as you can see, it's already make me all of these URLs. Sweet. Uh, now what I need to do, I can click on share, copy. And again, guys, do, do not use this file. It won't work. Click on file and make a copy. And then I need to put, sorry, I have been here and I've been here. So here, spreadsheet settings, I need the name of the column. So I need this column. Okay, it's the, sorry, the right one. I click on save. Uh, follow and follow action. So I can do both. I can do follow or unfollow or unfollow. And if they don't follow you, I won't follow. You can even block users, by the way. Yeah, between loading each profile, two, it's okay. One. To two exclude private profiles if we don't want to, to get it actually private, yeah, and that's okay. Save, I can make it manually or I can make it repeat repeatedly so it will work automatically. Every it uh, depends how much I want to do that. I will do just manually for now. Click on launch and let's see if it's working now. It's running and it's connecting to the account, and it should follow again and engage with the account that I want. Successful authentication, that means actually connected to Instagram, to my Instagram, to a D. Now it's processing Instagram.com, uh, this username. And here under the results, I can see uh, what's happened and what's going on. Um, it can take, a, so as you can see, it's running 50%. It's processing, processing, sorry, Instagram. It's already follow one account, so it's following the other account. As you can see it over here. Um, yes. and soon it will finish and you will see over here the results cool and as you can see it's already follow um this account and this account it's actually showing me the profile url um it can also show me the category the business category if it's private if it's verified mutual followers count how many same followers we have the url of the image and the website link and so on so this is actually pretty cool that i managed to follow them and um, now what I can do, of course, I can also do unfollow if I want. I can launch it again. I can have many, many things. I can use many things over here just to show you even if I want to do the auto unfollow. So I can also use that uh, after I'm following them. So that can also work if I want to do, um, for example, photo likers. Um, not this one. Um, Instagram story auto watcher. I can also do that, like like a, a sharing tool. So I can do a lot of stuff. Um, I said we cannot DM people over here anymore. Interesting, but the DM you can do with sharing tools or with so social. So no worries about that. Uh, just to show you with you about the pricing and how it works. So if you have like the free, you can use it for thirty minutes and one phantom uh, each time. If you want uh, the paid, you can get it with 20 hours a month. 20 hours a month, yeah, sorry. And then you, um, you get it um, with $69. I think it's per day, not per month, sorry. Uh, you get some AI credit, you get more slots, like five phantoms. And of course, as much as you pay more, you get more. This is about the pricing of this tool. 
é esforço social, uh, uh, uh. the pricing starts, first of all, you have like five days free trial, and then it starts with 39.97, and with sharing tools, it starts with like five dollars somewhere, something like that. But again, do not watch this video before you're watching the full videos of both of sharing tools and so social, just to understand better about the process and about why you need the user's ID. And, and that's it for now. I think this is like basically how you can use give me data and combine it <laughs> with cool tools. And again, it's the pricing over here, it's covering for you scrapers, the proxy for the scrapers as well. By the way, I forgot about the proxy when using a scrapers you also need to take care of the proxy part if you're doing it with social, for example. And proxy can cost you, depends which country and how much database, but it can cost you $90, $70, $80, and so on. So here you can basically get everything you need. Uh, so that's it, guys. This, is, was, this was the guide. I will attach the links for everything I mentioned on this video. Do not worry about that. If you have any questions, anything that you want to know, something that wasn't that clear, so feel free to just DM me on Telegram or on Instagram, but better on uh, Telegram. I'm more available over there. Uh, yes, and see you inside. Let's grow. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.